welcome to no physics with me hope you are doing good yes so in previous session we saw about a right hand thumb rule and today we are going to discuss about fleming's left hand rule as i already told you don't confuse right hand thumb rule with this that is quite different one and was given by maxwell and this is given by fleming's okay we do have fleming's right hand rule also okay yes so before getting into this we'll just quickly revise what we learned in right hand thumb rule okay so basically what is the use of right hand thumb rule that is if current is passed through a conductor a magnetic field is produced okay so in order to find the direction in which the magnetic field lines are moving we will use a right hand thumb rule so how is the right hand thumb rule given using your right hand pointing your thumb like this and the remaining four fingers like this and the pointing thumb finger represents the direction of current and the remaining curling fingers that is the four fingers second third fourth and fifth fingers represents the direction of magnetic field so in order to find the direction of magnetic field we used a right hand thumb rule now we are going to discuss fleming's left hand rule so before getting into the rule directly let us know the situation where this rule is used and what is the use of this rule okay so right hand thumb rule is used to find the direction of magnetic field similarly where this rule is used okay so initially they had a experiment okay i'll tell you what the experiment was so as we already know when current is passed through a conductor a magnetic field is produced okay so now let us consider aluminum rod to be a current carrying conductor so when current is passed what is happening magnetic field is produced and this rod is suspended between a permanent magnet say a horseshoe magnet you have seen horseshoe magnet right a u shaped magnet yes that is horseshoe magnet that is a permanent magnet and we do have north and south poles okay so when this aluminum rod is suspended between this magnet what will happen we do have two magnetic fields right what are the two magnetic field one the magnet experience around the magnet that is around the horseshoe magnet there is a magnetic field right yes similarly around this current carrying conductor also we do have magnetic field that is what we saw in right hand thumb rule yes or no yes so because of these two magnetic field what will happen a force is experienced on this aluminum rod okay so because of the force this aluminum rod displaces either on one side or on the other side okay so this displacement is because of this force right so that direction of force which displaces the rod that is what we are going to find using fleming's left hand rule so what are all the things involved here current is passed in a direction magnetic field is produced and also there is a force experience which causes or which displaces the aluminum rod okay so three things current magnetic field force okay so in order to determine the direction of force on which it is acting or the direction of force because of which the aluminum uh, rod is getting displaced that is what we are going to determine using fleming's left hand rule clear yes so now let us try to understand the rule okay first stretch your first three fingers of your left hand okay first three fingers of your left hand are mutually perpendicular direction so you cannot stretch like this instead how do you have to stretch i'll tell you from your point of view so thumb should be like this always remember this is left hand rule so use your left hand so thumb should point upwards your uh, four finger or the pointer finger should point like this direction okay and now you can see right angle as on no 90 degree between this thumb and your four finger now middle finger you have to point it towards you if i am standing like this this pointer should point towards me so now if you see these three are mutually perpendicular to each other that is if you consider these two they are at 90 degree if you consider these two they are at 90 degree and this and this they are at 90 degree hope you are clear once you practice this it will be very easy so four finger in this direction uh, thumb represents
ascending i mean uh, it is upwards and this middle finger is pointing towards you okay and for simple or easy uh, memorizing which is which direction i will tell you a simple trick okay consider this is father mother child what is this father mother and child okay so father represents force f and f mother represents magnetic field and child represents current clear f for force m for magnetic field and c for current clear so these three are representing force magnetic field and current now if your magnetic field is towards your right if the current direction is coming outwards then what is or towards south what is the direction of force it is pointing upwards clear so this is how you will use this fleming's left hand rule to determine the direction of force clear so once again i'll tell you stretch the first three fingers the thumb the fourth finger and the middle finger uh, in a way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other if the four finger or the pointer represents the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger represents the direction of current then the thumb represents the direction of force clear this is what is explained by fleming's left hand rule so in order to find the direction of force we will use fleming's left hand rule yes now we'll try to solve the numericals one by one in the upcoming sessions so i'll provide you the link in the description box so book that is ncert textbook questions we will discuss one by one so so in need of it you can check out the description box for the link